Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the upcoming iOS 13. Now we're just a few days away from the release of the first beta of iOS 13. And here are the top 20 features that are confirmed coming to iOS 13. Starting off with live photos. On iOS 13 you can expect live photos to be longer. That should take up to 10 seconds. Now normally these are like two or three seconds I believe, but with iOS 13 we will have longer live photos up to 10 seconds. A new feature is also coming to the keyboard, now we will have a swipe to type feature on the keyboard. We used to see that on Android keyboards as well as third party keyboards for iOS. Now that will be native with iOS 13. On the Safari app now we will have a section dedicated to download, so you will have a download manager within the Safari app. On iOS 13 we will also see a new sleep mode that's an enhanced like do not disturb mode. This is sleep mode, it will of course probably include do not disturb and some extra features as well. The widgets panel is also being redesigned on iOS 13, now you can expect a much nicer and cleaner look on the widgets panel of iOS 13. Also there will be new animations when opening, closing apps, going to the app switch and going out of the app switch or closing apps, all that. So new animations coming to iOS 13. And of course the long awaited dark mode is also coming to iOS 13. We have smart invert for now, that's not truly a dark mode but you can expect a full dark mode to come to iOS 13. Another huge change is of course the volume hood. We had this for years now, a lot of people wanted Apple to change that and now it's changing with iOS 13, you will have a new volume hood. There is a new feature coming also to the screen time feature of iOS now on iOS 13, parents will be able to restrict who their children can contact. Within the settings app of iOS 13 now we will have a new setting that will be a font management setting that will be included and will have a separate section on the settings app. There are also new features dedicated for the iPad, you can expect new multitasking features for the iPad to come with iOS 13. On the iPad you can also expect to see support for USB mouse, now you wanted to use a mouse with your iPad, now you will be able to do that from iOS 13. The iOS share sheet is also expected to be redesigned and have a much nicer and cleaner look on iOS 13, that's of course based on the leaks and reports that we had recently for iOS 13, so you can expect a totally different share sheet. A new app coming to iOS 13 will be an app that will combine Find My Friends and Find My iPhone, so that will be a new app coming to iOS 13. New features and new design and changes are also coming to the health app alongside with other apps as well. So with iOS 13 we will see a new health app as well as a new mail app, new features of the mail app as well as reminders will be redesigned and also the iBooks app. Now it is called just books so that will be redesigned as well. The iMessage app will also get new features now on iMessage you will be able to assign a profile picture for your contact so that will be be a new feature coming on iOS 13 on the iMessage app. And last but not least of course is also the UI redesign so you can expect a few changes within the UI of iOS 13, hopefully some redesigns of the icons and maybe also some other tweaks on the UI. So that is it for this video guys, these are 20 features that are coming to iOS 13. Now based on reports and leaks, very specific reports, I believe that all these features are coming to iOS 13. We will, we will have to wait and see for that, but I truly believe they will be a part of iOS 13. We will see that in about 10 days from now. So that's it, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did and I'll see you on the next one.